Okay, guys, um, so I'm just gonna go through this really quickly. So uh, there's gonna be uh, a bit of 3D glasses that I'm gonna hand around, or Ash was gonna hand around. Please don't keep this, I bought this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, firstly, I'm, um, I'm Danny Wong from uh, Stratford Girls High School. I'm a second year out teacher. Uh, so basically, um, I've got an extension in one class this year. I'm very privileged to actually have that. So I'm actually using GeoGebra. Well, who knows GeoGebra actually? Hands, hands up. So everyone knows that already. Hands down, cool. Now, um, now, most of you really know that for using, you're using that for pretty much graphing, lines, curves, etc. Okay, but there's a lot of functions in there that you may possibly don't know. Okay, so um, let's find the error under the curve or error between two curves. That's part of integration, right? So um, usually you can just like, um, you have like different functions. So say for integral x squared between minus 3 and 3, okay, you can have something like this and you can show it to your class. Okay, I get them to do it themselves as well to check their answers, how it looks like. Etc. Um, and there's another one called integral between um, x squared plus 4 and another function between two values. You can show that as well. Um, but that's not the most amazing part. It's volume. Okay. So I've, had, uh, I've used Emma's activity from last year. Uh, her presentation was basically on cutting out shapes from um, pieces of paper or cardboard. And um, what happens is you cut these. Uh, shapes out. Now, students will always say, oh, do I really have to cut five centimeters or seven centimeters? I'm like, no, it doesn't matter. Just relax, okay? So, um, <laughs> it doesn't matter, okay? Just as long as you cut those shapes, okay? So, after you've done that, uh, you put that on a skewer, and then what happens after that is you retake that, it becomes a, um, a volume, okay? A solid rev revolution, okay? So, that's a really simple task that I've created um, using PowerPoint as well, but that's not mine, okay? So, um, now, what's the most amazing part? Now, people with the 3D glasses, can you just put them on for me? For, for me now. Yeah? Great. Awesome. So, now, before we actually go into the 3D parts, so basically what I'm doing is, I have this file that I've actually downloaded from uh, JoJabra. Okay, I've opened it, opened it up, and I'll, put, I'll just put an x squared of over 4. Okay, that's just a function. Okay? And I'm retaining that around uh, x equals 0, x equals to 5. You know that? Everyone knows what, what, knows what the rotation is already. Okay, but my kids, or actually my tuna kids from before, uh, they struggle with this. Okay, they, they lack that um, the visual skill, and I'm more of a technological animated uh, visual person as my peers know. Okay, so basically what it looks like really slowly, if you just drag that, um, that bar across, is when you rotate it, you see something like this. Okay, now obviously it's much more smoother in class, okay, because I'm not opening JoJoBro here, it's just PowerPoint, and you see something like this, right? Okay. So that's not fascinating yet, but watch this. Okay, what if I say I can make it even more 3D? Okay, and this is where you whip out those 3D glasses and you go check this out, right? <laughs> so that's 3D, it's really 3D, okay? It's really, really 3D. So it actually pops, I haven't actually tried it in front of a lecture room, but can you guys tell me if it actually works? Yeah, it does pop out? Okay, cool, well done. Okay, so there's more images of those ones, okay? Um, that's just rotating around the x-axis, okay? Um, but let's say if you have these ones where you rotate around, you know, um, like these ones, you know, between two, two curves, those ones. So those are a bit more different, okay? Okay, I'll just give me five more seconds. Five, four, two, one. Cool. Okay, now. Sorry, okay, if you want to see it, just come to me at lunchtime, right? Um, <laughs> okay, now, um, what problems did I encounter? So, obviously, uh, doing this in class, okay? Now, teachers already here will know that the computers at our school aren't that reliable. They're Nova, they're Nova computers. Now, who's technology oriented here? Like, as in, really knows computers really well, or kind of well. Okay, well enough to build one. Okay, okay, all right. So, um, you'll know that graphic processing units or the computers at school can't handle 3D, okay? My students really love 3D stuff. They, when I gave them those glasses, they want to they take it home. Okay, they want to give it back to me. And I'm like, guys, it's mine, right? <laughs> okay, now another thing that's mine as well is my laptop here, okay? So I didn't, I used it at school and I rotated it and um, I showed it to my class. But unfortunately, there's a lot of lag response because the computers at school aren't that powerful enough. So what I did is, with my laptop, okay, people get surprised, so I don't know why, that it flips around, okay? Then afterwards, what you do is, um, this is a touchscreen computer. So basically, I bought this three years ago, and I said I'll use it for a purpose, and I don't know what it is, 
and it came three years later. Okay, so I'm actually using this now, and it's in 3D. I pass it around my class because it's only there's only about 12 students in my class really. Um, they can actually zoom in. Um, they can rotate it around. If they want to like this. Okay, they can they can actually see different angles, different perspectives of that particular shape because I can't just bring a lot of cones, cylinders, etc. Okay, just too many solid shapes. So that's as close as I can get with reality. Cool, and that's it. Thank you for taking. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you.